Hey guys, welcome to Prince of Peace Tarot. I'm Justin, and today I'll be doing a reading for the sign of Aquarius. So if you have Aquarius in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus, or anywhere within your chart, this reading could resonate with you. If you are dealing with an Aquarius, this reading could resonate. And if so, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be updated anytime that I put out a reading. Okay guys, so before I jump into your spread, let's say a prayer. Infinite Creator, Olo Dumare, to my higher self, my Ori, Ashu, Obatala, to the Egun Marine Laie, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, to my benevolent ancestors, known and unknown, Florine Williams, Norman Williams, thank you for allowing me to source the most accurate reading for the sign of Aquarius. Okay, all right, Aquarius and or Cross Watcher. Okay, so the energy that I'm picking up for you guys, there's somebody who is a block that is in your life. Somebody's blocking you um, and causing, I'm going to say like negative karma because maybe they're carrying some negative karma, but their energy is bringing you down. It's either blocking you creatively or it could be blocking you financially and intuitively and intuitively because I have the moon out here. Um, I've been picking up this energy from Aquarius. There's like a stuck energy going on with you. Something is making you stuck. I think one reading, it was uh, materialism. Another reading, it was a negative partner. And you, I don't know, Aquarians, shake this thing so I could read something different for you. Like, I'm, mm, it's just getting on my nerves. It's getting on my nerves. So the um, bottom of the deck, you have the Wheel of Fortune and the reverse, which is not good, okay? And then at the top, you have the eight of cups in the reverse. So what that tells me is somebody you broke up with came back and it looks like you let them back in. Looks like you let them back in because, um, yeah, uh, like you let them back in to start up a marriage again or something. Maybe you wanted to restart a marriage. Maybe you guys were talking about separating or divorcing, but now it's like it's back on. So, um, yeah, but it's causing you ill health and financial lack. And it looks like God didn't want you to be with this person because that, you know, the ace of pentacles, these aces come out. That's the hand of God. That means God will pull money back from you for, for dealing with this person because he didn't want to bless you and them. He just wanted to bless you. All right. So it looks like your first row, you got the, um, what is this? The King of Wands in the reverse, you have the Hermit in the upright, you have the Page of Swords in the upright, and then the Seven of um, Wands in the reverse. What I'm seeing right now is two people watching each other. One person went, went in Hermit mode, could be you Aquarius, could be a person, Cross Watcher, you fit wherever you fit. Um... You went in hermit mode, and while you were in her hermit mode, you, you watched somebody. You watched somebody that you determined was a king of wands in the reverse, a lazy person. Someone lazy, didn't want to really do the work. You maybe thought that they could or they would, and they didn't, okay? But it took you actually going in within to see it, okay? Maybe because this person could, like, spin up some lies or show you one thing but do another, I don't know what they were doing, but they were lying, being lazy and unethical. OK, now you probably said when you saw that I want to move on because the seven of wands to me is my do over card. Like I'm ready for a, a do over. I, I admit defeat with this and I'm starting over. But when you did your start over, somebody stayed around and watched you. They watched you start over and, and start up a new you. Right. But then towards the bottom, you obviously must have let them in because something's not right. This energy is off in these two rows, okay? Because what I have here is um, the two of swords in the reverse, seven of pentacles in the upright, the moon in the upright, and the um, eight of pentacles in the upright. The problem that I'm having with the second row, because I like the uh, eight of pentacles in the upright and I like the seven of pentacles in the upright, but you're being blocked. You're being blocked because the two, the two of swords is a block. 
It's like cutting off, blocking. And then the moon is something that is hiding something and blocking you. Okay? What's being blocked is your growth. You could probably be making more money or something, maybe your spiritual growth, because the hermit is sitting over um, the seven of pentacles. That's being blocked. So it looks like your spiritual growth is being blocked. Then um, there's more money you could be doing, you could be making. It looks like um, your focus is being blocked because you feel intuitively something is off. Something's off. Something's weird. OK, and it's making you not focus. Um, I'm going to tell you something, though. If you could get this person out of your energy, focus on your work, you will have a harvest. But right now, this person's energy is blocking you. It's blocking you. Last row. We got the page of wands in the upright, the six of cups in the reverse, three of wands in the reverse, 10 of pentacles in the reverse. Now, how I felt about this is like this page of wands is you. You want to get up. You want to get out. You want to be social. You want to be happy. You want to start projects. You want to go do something. But this page is looking out at some bleak cards because they're in the reverse. It's like I can't get up and go do what I want to do and experience what I want to experience because of a karmic. Six of cups in the reverse. I, I, my, that karmic is blocking my future with the three of wands in the reverse. I don't know what my future looks like. And <clears throat> this relationship is a bad marriage. It's a bad marriage. The other thing that I was thinking too, I was like, man, if all of this was in the upright, it would be like um, you being with a, a pot in a positive relationship. You know, something happy with a karmic, um, well, or someone you have good karma with, I would say, um, that you were ready for the future to come um, if the three of wands was in the upright because your ship is coming in. And then if the ten of pentacles was in the upright, that, um, yeah, if the ten of pentacles was in the upright, that you would be having a happy family that's stable and leaving a legacy. It's like it's all those three cards are being reversed. Like it's not good energy because you're dealing with someone bad. They're blocking your future, um, blocking any kind of legacy you want to leave. Um, yeah, something like that. There's something wrong. There's something wrong where I feel like for you, Aquarius, it should be right. Like something, it should be right. Um, yeah, I told you. So yeah, bottom of the deck, you got the Wheel of Fortune. That's in the reverse. Like you got to get this energy out. Get it gone. Get it out. Because it's um, it's it's um, bad for your health. It's bad for your health. The the uh, the um, Ace of Pentacles in reverse is ill health. OK. And you don't want that affecting your money because it's everything should be like working. Everything should be working, but it's not. It, you got to block whoever this is, this this lazy person in your life. They're blocking you. If they're a family member, if they're a friend, if they're an ex-partner, um, do something about them. Do something about them because I want to see a different spread. All right, Aquarius. So if this resonates, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be updated anytime that I put out a reading. Um, and if you want to book a personal reading with me, email me at princeofpeacetarot at gmail.com. All right, guys.